What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another Legend of Zelda Myths and Theories video. All right, so in this video, you know, this is part of the Hyrule Civil War mini series I'm kind of doing within this within this series. Um, this one, the last one, was covering the Sheikah and the effects of the Civil War on the Sheikah, and more about Sheikah culture and items and such. This one is going to be about a different uh, tribe that really is also very integral to the Zelda canon, uh, specifically Twilight Princess, and these guys are the Dark Interlopers. Now we do know the Dark Interlopers eventually become the Twily over time, but how they became the Twily and why is kind of what we're targeting with this one, at least what I'm targeting. And, um... It all starts, like most of the stuff in this series, with the Hyrule Civil War. Alright, so, during the Hyrule Civil War, Hyrulean Civil War, a group of powerful, um, well, a tribe of powerful magic users uh, attempt to take over the Sacred Realm during the Civil War. Of course, the uh, that can't really happen because the Triforce is in the Sacred Realm, so... The goddesses, you know, they unleash three uh, spirits, spirits of uh, Faran, Elden, and Lenaru. They unleash these three spirits on the Hyrule in order to stop the, uh, the Dark Interlopers from taking over the Sacred Realm and getting the Triforce. There are a lot of theories behind the Dark Interlopers and their origins, and we're going to get into those a little bit later in the video. Right now, we're going to talk about the connection to the Hyrule Civil War. So, after the Dark Interlopers are stopped, you know, fearing the power of the gods, which is important, uh, they actually flee and go to the Gerudo Desert. So, in the Gerudo Desert, you know, is where the, the three spirits find them and eventually seal them using the Mirror of Twilight into the newly created Twilight Realm. Eventually, they stay there and they evolve into the Twily and then the events of Twilight Princess unfold. But what we're talking about here is the origins of the Dark Interlopers. Alright, so, you know, the Hyrule Civil War kicked off a whole lot of stuff. We know that it possibly killed the Sheikah, you know, and we know that during the Civil War, the, um, the Dark Interlopers tried to take over the Sacred Realm, and they were banished to the newly created Twilight Realm, so... Why? Where did they come from? Well, one theory here is this. That the Dark Interlopers are actually Sheikah. I mean, if you really think about it, the Dark Interlopers have red eyes, and they also use dark magic like the Sheikah. You know, they're also, I mean, they were probably, you know, pretty solid fighters like the Sheikah were. You know, my theory as far as, well, it's not my theory, but it's a theory that I've been kind of rolling around in my head is that the Sheikah and the Dark Interlopers are the same tribe. And then, you know, there was a schism or a split in the tribe. Half of the tribe did not want to serve the, the Hyrule Royal Family, possibly after the betrayal, you know, and they, you know, kind of became the Dark Interlopers. You know, they kind of like, you know, not change physically, but change ideologically. You know, so they resigned the Sheikah name because the Sheikah were, or at least some of the Sheikah were, you know, they're determined to maintain, you know, the status quo and serve the royal family, while this new sect of Sheikah, the Dark Interlopers, wanted to interlope and change, you know, the plans of the royal family, take the, take the Triforce for themselves, you know, possibly being the more powerful of the two, you know, the Hyruleans and the and the, uh, the Sheikah, you know, and wanted to basically take over Hyrule for themselves. Um, now, this will be a perfect explanation of why the Sheikah died in the first place, because half of them, you know, were the Dark Interlopers, and half of them were the Sheikah. So they go to war with each other, they kill, you know, most of each other's forces, and most of the Sheikah die. Perfect explanation. You know, well, at least most of the good Sheikah die, and the bad ones are sealed away in the Twilight Realm to eventually become Twily. It would also explain things like the um, the Sheikah symbol being 
not only on the Fuse Shadow, but also being in various other places in all of the Twilight Realm. You know, it would explain that, you know, these people were Sheikah at one point. Um, you know, it will also, you know, explain why they feared the gods so much when the gods intervened in their plans. Because the Sheikah were, were basically servants of the goddess Helia. So it would be, you know, it would only be, you know, it wouldn't be a stretch that they would fear Helia's other, you know, or, or the other goddesses. Because... You know, they're goddesses. They're, you know, their whole purpose was to serve the goddesses. And that's the only reason why they're protecting the royal family in the first place. Is because they wanted to protect, you know, or they wanted to fulfill their oath to Helia. Another connection that the Twi'le, or well, the, the Dark Interlopers have to the Sheikah is uh, the Fused Shadow. Their most powerful magic. A very powerful magic you see a lot of in Twilight Princess. Um, the Fused Shadow is the most powerful magic of the Dark Interlopers, a race of people who are known for their magic. Um, you know, it, it's, it's interesting. It's called the Fused Shadow. You know, the Sheikah are also called the Shadow Folks. They built the Shadow Temple. You know, shadows are a very important um, thing to the Sheikah. You know, I mean, true, like, freaking Impa becomes the sage of shadows. So, you know, the fused shadow, you know, that's another connection to the Sheikah. It's a light connection, but it's a connection nonetheless. Well, enough with that. Now, the dark interlopers, you know, uh, as another, another theory about the dark interlopers, you know, another connection to the Hyrule Civil War is the fact that the Dark Interlopers don't necessarily have to be one race. It could have started as a group of rogue Sheikah, you know, similar to kind of like how the Uchiha, you know, spread, you know, branched off, wanted to branch off and have a coup, you know, with the Leaf Village and Naruto, you know, it could have started like that and it could have ended very differently, you know, because we do know that, you know, there were a lot of different people, a lot of, from all different tribes, looking to get to, into the sacred realm to get the Triforce. Of course, there was Ganon and his band. The entire freaking Herulean Civil War was based around people trying to, you know, get to the, to the, to the Triforce. And the Dark Interlopers could have started as simply Sheikah, and they could have grown in numbers, you know, from other people looking to get to the Triforce. You know, people with a common goal tend to work together. You know, so, you know, maybe the, because since, since they've never really talked about who the opposing force was in the Herulean Civil War, maybe the opposing force was the Dark Interlopers. All of these races together trying to get to the Triforce, trying to wrest control of the Triforce from the Heruleans, you know, and, you know, when they got sealed, the war simply ended. You know, there was no really no real explanation there. Because this is a true civil war in every sense of the word. You know, they you know, this is the Zaras and the Gorons and the Gerudos and the and the Heruleans, you know, going at it over the Triforce. You know, just sealing the interlopers away wouldn't simply end the war. You know, I mean the Gerudos and the Zaras, you know, all the other races would still want the Triforce. You know, so it would take a definitive defeat you know, at the hands of the Heruleans in order to win the war. So maybe that definitive defeat was when, you know, the, the, the Spirits of Light defeated the Interlopers and sealed them away into the, um, into the Twilight Realm, and that will, that's what brought them to the war. You know, maybe that's all they really needed. Maybe the Dark Interlopers were the enemy of the Herulean Civil War. And maybe they called it a civil war is because, you know, the Dark Interlopers were made up of mainly Sheikah and many other people, you know, motivated by greed to, you know, to get the Triforce. Even Minda herself says that they lost their king to greed. You know, so maybe, you know, the leader of the Dark Interlopers, you know, who was kind of, I guess, the person who would have become king if he did win the civil war, 
you know, he was motivated mainly by greed. He wanted to take the Triforce. He wanted to take over Hyrule. He wanted. He was greedy for power, you know, and he lost himself in greed, and that's what motivated this entire civil war. Interesting theory, huh? The Dark Interlopers were the real enemy in the entire civil war, because there was no other explanation of why the civil war would have simply ended. I mean, yeah, you defeated one faction, you know, there's still several other nations, other races, who still want the Triforce. That's about it for this theory. You probably can tell, you know, I'm kind of, if I sound kind of nasally, it is because I have a cold. But, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, keep it real.